what up guys we're back and uh what up youtube uh this is shante here in the back of me we've got me Hi. obviously vincent we got a lot uh asian here lana's passed out we are playing we are this is part two of home as you guys have seen the first one already by now um this is the same day we are playing this the same day as the first episode that you guys have seen and uh yeah we want to beat this game in one go so when you guys see this it'll be a different day obviously but hope you guys enjoy this though so let's get going with this because so far the game graphics have been great uh i mean not a game graphics the game graphics got kind of like sad because it's pixelated but like it's still a great game it keeps you on your toes like i said in the first episode it makes you want to keep playing so let's keep playing Okay. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. And I'm still not feeling good. That's why I said it. Gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. So you have like amnesia. This is your house. We'll see. Gate yeah, was locked tight. This wasn't my house. The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone had it pushed it all the way in. I knew it wasn't right, but did yes. I look at the letter? Yes. There was no return address, but the envelope was addressed to Norman. Carefully, I tore it open and looked at the letter inside. It read, Stay away, she's mine. That was it. No signature, no other info. Rachel? What are you doing? I wonder if that was him that said that. Stay with it. Maybe, I don't know. I had the wrong gate. This was one that was locked. No, he'd be like, oh yeah, I wrote this to Norman. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of... Oh, man. Sorry, guys, still sick. I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding. And it chilled me through my clothes. Well, I was accepted, but also afraid. Rachel? Hell yeah, I'd be afraid too. Like all this stuff happening at once, everybody's you find dying. Rachel's coat in Norman's house. I dead. feel like there's gonna be a boss fight at the end of something, and I'm only gonna have a knife, no gun. I held my breath as I approached by our back door. I was terrified to step inside. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing, ragged and stained. I flicked the light switch by the door. The power was off. Rachel? This is so creepy. Wait. Like Where's Rachel? I remembered having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday? Or sometime before? <sighs> man, that sound, man. Rachel? This game's getting to me now. The door to the basement it was locked. Where had I put that damn key? Let me check the whole bottom floor first. There's a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? Is she dead? Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. yes. I ripped the bill open and read, To my surprise, it said something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? The front door was locked from the inside. I couldn't go out, though. I needed to see if Rachel was here. That's good. No, it's locked. I'm so scared. <laughs> she's dead. What is she doing? The door was stuck shut. There was an old fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Check out this floor before I keep exploring. I found the last bit of piece from my wallet, the old photo of Rachel, and I stared back I stared back at me, reminded me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I take it anyway? Yeah. Yes. I placed a photo in my wallet, feeling like I had got part of my life back. Still, the image made me uneasy. Why had I thrown it away? What if it was in you? Stolen identity trophy. Our television. I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but then, by then, it was too late. Okay. Uh, time to go upstairs one more time. Oh, 
happened there? Our hallway mirror had been smashed to pieces, scattered around the floor. No question about that, though. All right, so there's a lot of places to go. I, I need to check. The, I'll check the right and then the left. Our sink, which needed to be replaced, one of the taps always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. Okay. Well, there's a lot of things broken in your house, buddy. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. Oh yeah, those are nice. Excuse me. Time to go this way. The books were half mine, half Rachel's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in that house had some of the same books I did, as I did. Oh, that's weird. That's really weird. There was a suitcase on the bed. It was Rachel's. I remembered it from that trip we took on West. Did I open the suitcase? Yeah. I wasn't sure what to make of that suitcase contents. Inside were a few days worth of clothes, some toiletries, and the train ticket. Where was she planning to go? Oh, see, this is weird. This is getting weird now. Rachel? Did I? Which way did I go? I didn't go this way yet. I went to the bathroom. I forgot to go right. My laptop had been left on. It only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. There's two doors. I need. There's two doors. I need a key. I was talking about the water tower, which you know. Uh -oh. there. Rachel might be up to this, yeah? I don't remember exactly where the key doors were, but there was two. No, I think there's one to the right. There was a door to the right that had one. Which was, it said it was a keyhole. It was shut. Yeah, this one. There's an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Oh, so that's not the keyhole. Okay, so yeah, let's go downstairs again. And there's another one that needs the key. Oh, pretend that the, it was the end. It was all prank. She's not here. Basement. Basement was the next one, yeah. I locked the basement door. I like that. So why was the, the other one was stuck shut with the keyhole underneath it? That's weird that that one wasn't open. There were old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key there. Did I take the key? Yes. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I put this divided wall last summer so we could create a separate room for the basement. I had to finish it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. Okay, and that something heavy enough will probably be in that room that's stuck. Now that I got another key. Oh, wrong way. Let's exit. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Upstairs one more time. I think that's kind of confusing. <laughs> it's like a puzzle game. The grimy key I had found in the basement and locked the door. Oh, grimy, my bad. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes. yes. I looked at the heavy crowbar as I appreciated its weight. Now let's go back to the basement. Is Rachel okay? I don't know. I'm not here with Rachel. I have no idea. I have no idea even what's going on, really. <coughs> oh, man. I Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. With the heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. Smashed a hole large enough to step through. I don't like that. I just stepped through the broken wall. My breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down there? Was she okay? What's that sound? Rachel, don't look. Hey, uh. Whatever you say, girl. I mean, looking up. Yeah. Oh my 
my god. Stop. <laughs> Bro, stop scaring me. Sorry, I'm not scared. I'm gonna look. A filthy looking pile of rags have been dumped to the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within. But I knew I had to. I had to come this far. After all the searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? Yes. Yes. I should have clicked no. I. Oh no. My hands trembled as I pulled back of the lawyer, layers of cloth. There at the center, under all the dirt and mess, was my beloved, my Rachel. Her arms were bruised all over and slashed repeatedly. Her clothes were ripped and torn, and even through all that sickening blood, it was obvious that she had been stabbed to death. The knife I had carried all this way suddenly seemed like a poison. What had happened? Rachel, who did this to you? I thought about all I had seen and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaky legs and then made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Grim Discovery Trophy. Maybe I would use some of Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. What? What did I pass by? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my wallet with its contacts and stuff. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again. Or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store, that forest, the water tower. Was I at all those places before? I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? I wonder if you're the killer and you're going psycho killing people. This was the old photo of that other man and his wife, I assume. I found it in that house. There were a lot of disturbing things in those tunnels underneath that house. Maybe that man wasn't quite what he seemed. Well, what did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? Definitely those tunnels, the odd tools in his house. He wasn't innocent, that's for sure. I don't know what's anymore. I'm gonna try to leave now. Oh, I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to leave, man. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't leave, not until I had thought about this some more. I needed answers. Oh, the male still sat there. He did the fall. How long has Rachel been lying in the vision? I gotta go back down. Not until I've gone over everything. I need to make sure I wasn't perfectly clear. Okay, so now I just gotta go look around the house. There'll be no more dinners here. No more. Sure. No more chit chat over breakfast. At least not for us. Did you lock the back door? No, probably not. My old office safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax records and other important documents in it. Okay. it. Used to be a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I had left it somewhere. Maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Oh man, it's hot in here. It was the letter I had taken for the post box. Who had um, who had it out for Norman? Who sent him that letter? It must have been someone from the neighborhood, or at least somebody wanted to look in that way. I wasn't sure what to think. Did Norman? Did he murder Rachel? No, no way. Norman had ended up dead himself. Whoever yeah. sent that threatening letters must have got to him. But who the hell was that? From now on, I'd have no one to get angry with for stupid things like buying this TV. And I'm gonna start really thinking when it says yes or no. Like, really thinking. Within the few broken pieces that remained of the mirror, I could see my face had grown pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. You still up, Asia? It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection. I felt empty and drained. 
Okay. Reflection that grimy glass was only a shadow, a whisper. I still love the old time charm and the colorful footed bathtub, though it seemed like it could come right there. Oh man. It was the key card I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. Seems to me that it was probably Norman's. But if that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? He's dead. No. Someone was going through those lockers, sure. But I didn't think it was Norman. The laptop was dead, but I found some notes and loose paper in the drawer where I'd found the key. There was a yellow sticky note with an eight-digit code in it. Yes. Did I take it? Yes. The code looked like it might be for the safe, but what kind of phrase was that? What was the safe down there? Yeah. Oh my god. All the way down, I think. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back in the basement. Nah, yeah. I want that safe first. There's upstairs. All the way down. I'll go in the basement after that safe. They're trying to trick us. The code I found should have left me the access to the safe. Did I try to open it? Yes. Code worked. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel. And when I, when we had first moved to town in it, we were smiling outside the front of the house, which looked like a real mess. We looked happy, though. Odd, I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe was also an envelope. The front of it read, Do not open until I tell you. I guess this was a good as time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and read what was inside? Yeah. What was reading? I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside on it with a letter. Right in hand that looked familiar, the letter read, I know this whole event has probably been pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me, too. Well, maybe you can. That isn't meant to be an excuse, but, well... I hope you could better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving in this town seemed like such a dream and a quiet place to get established, to live out our lives and be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly changed. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, as you retreated into that world of yours, well, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all, but it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be the healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to be this way, Rachel. What I do? Did she kill herself? <laughs> I felt like she was going to leave because there was travel posters and stuff, right? So she was probably going to leave him. Alright, they said... If I was guilty, I could take this to a warm, safe place and something about it. Did I pick up the knife? I was guilty. I was guilty. So he's not guilty? No. To a warm, safe place and something about it. What do you mean? But what if he was guilty? Like, then you, you'll, you'll never get caught if you take it. But you put back the gun. Which has your fingerprints on it. Yeah. No, just keep it. Maybe you didn't do it. No. No, no. There were other means of dealing with this. Put an end to the situation one way or another. No, let's just take it. Yes. I took the knife and kept it finally in my hand. Wait a minute. I need to put an end to this situation one way or another. I'm so scared that someone's gonna be right there just watching.
I wondered, even if I left, would it really be over? So did I leave that house forever? Maybe you should have left the knife. <laughs> yes. Living in this town hadn't been easy. The plant had helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking. Disappeared for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing seemed to help, not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it up. I know it. The sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night had unearthed terrible truths, but I knew it was a final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I had remained unconscious in that room forever. It was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with it all. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem that there were too many things I had seen to think otherwise. And what was hidden within those sewers I had found? The tunnel to the man's house obviously led there. But was there something I missed? I found the contents of my wallet scattered throughout town. Why the hell had I been out there? Had my sleepwalking gone to some new extreme? The thought that I couldn't account for my unwhereabouts, but knew I had been to that forest and even Norbert's place, well, it was terrified. I didn't know what that meant, but at least I had recovered my things. Hopefully, I th thought that would cover my tracks so I wouldn't be blamed for all this. The tangled mess of that horrible forest was an experience I'd never want to repeat. One thing I could be sure of, despite my confusion, I knew Norman had been the one who was going back to our old factory. He couldn't have been responsible for that dead guard then. I could take some solace in that. After the factory, I thought I might find some solace if I could just get to Norman's store. <coughs> but all I had found were more horrors and more questions. Now that I really consider it, that's when I should have seen it coming. Damn, Norman, how did you get mixed up in all this? I know you weren't a perfect man, none of us are, but you didn't deserve this. Maybe whoever had done you in was responsible for the other murders that happened in the town. At the very least, I was convinced you and Rachel were killed by the same person. I sincerely hoped you would find some peace, my friend. I knew I never would. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did. But how could I have known how hopeless it all was? I had started to feel as disoriented as when I sleepwalked. To think of it now, I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I was first stepped into our house and stood there in the kitchen. There was no sound of television, radio, even the air was still. But, but seeing Rachel there lying ruined and discarded in the basement, that was a horror I could never have imagined. I didn't know if I'd ever find the answers I craved, but I knew that somehow that other man I had found was responsible for this. If not directly, he must have had a hand in Rachel's death. So what was I doing in that damn house of his? Had I found out? Had I killed him? My damn condition made it difficult to know. Memories and time frames were always a mess, and I could never be sure. Knowing that man was dead, though, was cold comfort. My wife was gone, and no matter what happened to me now, I was lost forever. As I swung open the door and stepped into the air, I caught the scent and wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again, could, uh, cold and inert, shook me from head to toes. What would I do now? Who could I turn to? It would only be a matter of time before the police got involved, before the neighbors knew. The front lawn was soft and given beneath my feet, and I couldn't shake the urge that I shouldn't stand there, but rather that I run. Slipping away. Damn. Okay, well. Damn. Alright, well, it was a good game.
it was definitely a good game. <coughs> kind of short, uh, like they said, about an hour and a half. Um, I liked it. It was fun. It was different. The movements and everything. It was a. It, it kept you on your toes. It kept you wanting to know. Um, man, that's crazy. What do you think, baby? I want to know who did the murders. Yeah, I mean, it could be that guy, which he was dead. It could have even been you. And no matter what, you have to run because the cops could think it's you. Overall, I think that was a great game. What do you think, Asia? Uh, you think who started it? What? It's Rachel because... It was Rachel? How did the cops, the, the police got dead? Him. I don't know, but Rachel was found dead afterwards. I think Rachel got dead too, right? Yeah, Rachel died. Got dead. So I think it wasn't so I think it was something else. Well, either way, guys, it was a great game. It ended up going pretty good. Uh, we only could make two episodes because it's a short game. But we got a really nice game coming for you. You know, well, actually, by the time you guys watch this one, you already seen the game. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the other horror game we played because I think it's going to be fun. <coughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell. Click the bell, and we'll be back with more. See ya.